Greetings of peace and love, everybody. My name is Ram Hotep L, broadcasting on behalf of the number 13 signsastrology.com, where we give it to you raw, live, and uncut. No chaser, undiluted, untampered with. On this episode, I gotta hip y'all on to something. Something that's going on right now with the people that want control of your mind, the people that want control of your body. See, to them, you're a product. When I say them, I'm talking about those individuals that think they rule the world. Those individuals that think they control the world. They control the world, but it's their world. And you can get out of their world and exist within your own bubble in your own space, but you got to learn how to activate your Merkava. You got to get into your spiritual comfort zone. You got to get into your own spiritual energy. But it's a group of people that don't want to see you do this. And... They come in all shapes and sizes. I want to talk about sex slavery. And I want to talk about mind control on this particular episode through the modality of sex. I can speak on mind control. There's different levels to mind control. But on this episode, we're going to talk about mind control through the modality of sex. See, there's a group of people that a lot of them are agents. And a lot of them have adopted their program from this so-called Al-Qaeda network which is really a code word for the cia and you got to understand that there's more so bad agents but there's a few good agents out there i mean i realized that like they're every single agent is not necessarily evil it's not necessarily has negative intentions but primarily when people get initiated into the cia thing especially the cia these are the most when they turn bad or they turn rogue these can be the most dangerous agents there is out there. Um, you can really research Alex Jones and InfoWars. He has a really good video where he breaks down to you how Al Qaeda, when they talk about Al Qaeda, that's really talking about the CIA. When, they, when you see Al Qaeda on the news, always think CIA, always. And they choose certain people to get initiated into this particular order. Now, the CIA is different from the FBI. The FBI, there there are more of an investigative bureau dealing with more mundane stuff like drugs, you know, and people that, you know, criminals and people that are breaking the law on mundane levels. But the CIA, they investigate spiritual people and they investigate people that may call themselves psychics and they investigate people that may call themselves mediums. They deal with people that so-called consider themselves sovereign and people that are kings and queens and they... A lot of times they'll they, they just watch them the cia or, or a group of it's an intelligence agency they deal primarily with espionage but they're they're watchers a lot of them and they watch everything that's going on to keep track of everything that's going on now you got the nsa of course that's separate a lot of people say that the nsa came from out of the cia but according to my research that's not necessarily correct the nsa came out of more of a communications network and back in the days, if you wanted to send somebody a message, you had to send it through the postmasters. And you have to send a mail or whatever. You have to send it through some form of a medium. And you have to write a letter and give it to a postmaster. And they would relay that message and take it to the to particular person that was supposed to get the message. So the NSA sprung from out of that. And as we begin to get more sophisticated with our communication, you know, it went from communicating by water and by land. And eventually we started communicating through the air. As we go further into the age of Aquarius, this is why the NSA got so big or whatever and why they have such a big, sophisticated program. But the CIA is different from the NSA. It's not the same thing at all, um, if you really understand it. Um, the CIA, they'll give you another identity. The CIA, they have multiple identities. If you want to really understand the CIA, you should watch a movie called Born Ultimatum. And it's one, two, and three. And that movie means a lot to me because Born Ultimatum talks about a lot of stuff that went down in my personal life and involves a lot of my family members actually in that particular movie because I come from a royal family and a family that a lot of them are a part of the elite and they know this you know they try to keep it a secret from certain people in the family but it's a big family and a lot of them, them are a part of the elite and that though these particular movies they're usually always about real situations these movies that come out all of them. I'm getting ready to start doing movie reviews. I know I said I was, but I'm going to get on it really soon because we're in the year of the horse and I got to, you know, talk more about these things in relationship to your spirituality. But just saying all that to say that that Born Ultimatum, man, is 
definitely um, a movie, a must see or whatever, if you want to understand the CIA and how they work and things like that. But what's going on with the CIA right now is, is that you have this sex slavery thing going on and this sex slavery ring. And a lot of people, they know that the Super Bowl and things like that, a lot of that's associated with like a, that sex slavery increases during the time of the Super Bowl championship they bring in a lot of different sex slaves and they target rich people and NFL players and basketball players and people that may have a lot of money and things like that so this video is really for you guys too because you have to realize that the sex slavery thing goes deep it's a lot of deep levels to it but one thing the people that the women that they recruit and the men that they recruit because they're men too a lot of them have been molested and a lot of them were abused this is a part of CIA MK Ultra like if a person is abused or you've been molested or whatever, a lot of times that doesn't just happen because some guy's perverted and he wants to penetrate, you know, his little daughter, his child or something like that. It has a lot to do with that, but it's a lot of times it's deeper. And it's a part of him being programmed into a form of mind control. And it's primarily used in the CIA and they do this to break you. It's just like in a lot. And they've been doing this since even back in the days of in ancient Egypt, even. They had something called the opening of the mouth ceremony. And when you research the opening of the mouth ceremony, people think, you know, they have one little mundane story behind it where they talk about, you know, it's supposed to be something dealing with you opening your mouth and, and, and you know, supposed to be confessing, you know, certain things that you've done or whatever. That's one level to it. But really, the opening of the mouth ceremony is not talking about this mouth. You see, it's talking about if you were a female, it's talking about opening up your lips, your vagina lips, or you know your pussy lips. If you want, I got to get raw and cut here because I got young people listening. And I'm not scared to speak the truth. So yeah, your pussy lips and your vagina lips. That's one level to it. But then it could even open in your ass crack, your butt cheeks, to open in that mouth, and they would spill semen inside of you know these particular people that partook in this ceremony. You had to do this with a particular. He would be called a god. Or an itinerary, or you know, some form of a, a, a demigod, even. And you have to partake in this if you want to get initiated to the higher orders. You have to go through this, you have to be penetrated some kind of way annually, or through your vagina. You have to go through these sex rituals because this is how they break people. And they use this even in a lot of the occult esoteric orders and things like that. But you got a group of people once they get into that. There's, I'm going to break it down for you because just because you partake in that ceremony doesn't mean you have to fall victim to sex slavery. I'm going to point that out before I even go deep into what I want to talk about. But there's a group of people that they go, they do these ceremonies and things like that, and they partake in these sex rituals, and they end up liking it. They may be a child or something like that, and they may have been molested, and then now they're very sexual. So now they may, this is how you find children that are seven or eight years old raping and molesting children that are like are five and six years old because there's a lot of rapes and molestations this is going on in the melanated communities and in the communities in the in the uh in the white community so it doesn't really matter about your color or whatever in the european communities and whatnot it's going on on both sides and all over the world and you have a group of children that they molest younger children up under them with things like that and you know they're sexual and they show they turn them out they show these children how to have sex and stuff like that and they turn them out and then later on as a child gets older then they decide they want to be a model and then they you, you and you decide you want to be a model you think becoming a model is just going and dressing up real nice and putting on some nice form fitting clothes and running down the runway and taking pictures and you find out that you got to do initiations you got to do sexual initiations to get high up into that they may want you to actually do something outside and totally opposite you say you come for a modeling audition and they may ask you to go and do sexual favors on the guy that's doing the audition they may ask you to jump into a pornography film and this stuff is real or whatever so and don't think this is not into astrology because astrology this falls in the eighth house because, you know, you got these people out here saying, man, you cover a lot of stuff that don't really do. You're supposed to be 13 cents of astrology. I told you, astrology covers everything. And this is dealing with the eighth house, buddy. Sexual secrets. See, the biggest secret is usually dealing with sex. Because we do this in dark. So this is why the eighth house is the house of secrets. And then the house of sex at the same time. Because the eighth house deals with secrets that you don't want to shed to people. And it deals with molestation even. This stuff can be found in your natal chart and why it happened to you is a lot of times is encoded into your solar blueprint and into your solar signature so 
you got to really think about those things or whatever. Everything happens to you for a reason if you were molested and abused. So I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm not, this is not an attack on anybody. This is just information. And I know information can be deadly, but you know, I'm protected, I'm never scared. So, so anyway, you got these children. So then they say you come from modeling or acting and then you got to do all this sexual stuff and it's supposed to not have anything to do. You might find yourself, you say you want to go work on media and next thing you know, you got to go do a sexual ritual. It goes down, you know what I'm saying? Because they do this for many reasons, but they do this because of the fact that if you really want to get into the arts industry, you want to get high up into that world. They look at it like if you want to just be a normal person, then you need to go work a job or you need to go and do something mundane. But when you get into that arts and and into competing, because that's what the arts is really, into competition like sports and entertainment, you have to do something sexual. Bottom line, you have to do something to compromise your character a lot of times to get into that thing because they're looking at it like if that's the case then we could just go find someone else or if you don't want to do these things you should just go get you a normal job because you're obviously not built to last and to make it through this stuff or whatever so that's one level to there's different schools within the whole arts thing or whatever there's some schools that if you choose that you want to do that then you got to go and get inflicted upon another type of pain you may be a good person you may want to be an actor and they they recruit people like that too as well you have to decide which order you're going to come up under and there's another order you could come up under that they don't do the sexual stuff and the sexual rituals but that's what i'm gonna really talk about today but i want to cover this point they do like you have to be celibate for a period of time and you can't mix with anybody for a period of time and if you mix with someone you get disqualified so everything in this arts thing you have to live an abnormal life that's the bottom line you have to do something that's most people don't do it. Most people are used, used to having sex freely and they can just do whatever they want to do and there's no consequences. They're their own person. And these people are the regular people. They call them, in some schools, they call them the going. In the Bible, they call them the Gentiles or they call them the the, the fans in the, in the sports arena or they call them the masses or some people call them the asses of the people or some people call them sheeple. These are the people that just go about their normal lives. They don't want to be a part of any of this. So they just keep their blinders up and that's okay. Everybody is not on the world stage in this particular life. That's in your natal chart too. Some people are supposed to just be sheep or regular people. And people always ask me like, well, I mean, how's this like information benefit me? Like, like, should I really leave religion and do and get into astrology and get into a lot of stuff you're talking about? And it's like, nah, it's not really for everybody. I tell people that straight up and down. Like what I do, even what I do is not for everybody. I don't do the dark rituals, but I do a lot of light rituals and a lot of things you're going to have to sacrifice in of yourself if you want to get into what I'm into but back to the sex thing because that's what I want to focus on today so the CIA a lot of these people that get on TV and television they're in the CIA a lot of these actors and musicians and stuff like that they're in the CIA they're intelligence agents and I realized that and the thing is is that a lot of these intelligence agents are affected because a lot of them have been penetrated and went through rituals and they fell victim to it I'm going to tell you how to get out of it, but this is the dark side. We're about to talk about the dark side of it. So a lot of them have been infected with what's called an incubus or a succubus. Incubus or a succubus. And an incubus is a male demon that attaches itself to a male. And they come in during a sexual act. And they pass on their energy or they take the energy from a host during a sexual act. And this is a male. A succubus is a female uh, demon that attaches itself to a woman and she gets a man to lay down with her and she takes the energy from a male during a sexual act. And you have to be careful when you have sex with someone because they, you could be entertaining a demon or incubus or succubus. And when I talk about a demon, you got to keep in mind like it's not coming from a religious point of view. When I talk about a demon, you got to think about there's the positive aspect of energy, and then there's the negative aspect of energy. And negative feminine energy, all demons exist up under negative feminine energy, whether they're male demons or female demons. And neg the negative aspect of female energy is it takes away, it absorbs, it's yin based. This is actually negative female energy. So when I talk about a demon, that's what it is. A, a positive angel, if you will, which is supposed to be the opposite. This is some an entity that operates up under a positive polarity, which gives you energy, gives you life, and gives you information. So it gives. It's a giving because it's positive. So it's a it's outward. It's an outgoing force, whereas yin takes in. It takes. Now there's 
there's constructive yin based energy and destructive yin based energy and an incubus and a succubus functions up under destructive yin based energy and they can get you to have sex with them and take away from your energy and they pass on not only that they leave you with something after you come out come out the sexual act they leave you feeling different you may feel a little bit more negative and their their goal is to make you into one of them this is how they pass on and this is how they live they live through they need a host so essentially they're kind of like leeches and they need some form of a host or some form of a body that they can transmute and 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 get this energy or i guess you could say take away and get energy and take away energy from they need something to live in so demons and angels are real they live in the shadow world and they they're like i guess you could say part of our shadow self and a lot of times like you might even see some of these videos and you see a light being next to me or something like that or see a being of light or a beam of light this is because this is a being that exists within my aura and lives with me or whatever so this is a lot of times we talk about the occult and the paranormal this is why we could be all alone a lot and we never feel alone because we have entities that exist and live with us and you can have good entities or negative demons demonic type entities and these these incubus and succubus as they pass on their energy through the sexual act and they reproduce themselves recreate themselves through the sexual act it even is two ways they can do it they can recreate themselves through the sexual act and they can just pass on energy wise and go into and store themselves in the aura of the person the attacked well i'll call it the attacked let's say that the incubus is or the succubus is the attacker and the attacked is the person that they're preying on and they can pass on their self and live in the aura of that person or they can produce a child if a child they, they really love this if a child is produced and i want to go into this and if a child is produced then they they, they will be called a cambion so if you lay with an incubus or succubus and you get pregnant or you get them pregnant, say for instance, if you're an incubus, which is a male demon, sexual demon, and you lay with a woman, a female that's a normal person, and you give her a child, that child would be called a cambion. And if you're a female and you lay with a male, or I'm sorry, if you're a female succubus and you lay with a normal male and you and he gets you he gets you pregnant, then you become he that child that you birth will become what's called a cambion. And Marilyn, the magician, was a cambion. We used to research Marilyn. He was half human, half demonic entity. And what happens is that this is not, this is when you talk about light work and dark work. And all of this isn't bad. But the thing is, right now in our society, the incubus and the succubus is destroying a lot of shit. Because they're coming in and they're targeting certain people. They're coming in as the CIA are recruiting these people, doing it, and the people within the CIA, because you gotta remember there's many different people within the CIA. So when they come up with these other pro projects, like say for instance, you're in the CIA, you're a CIA agent, and you start your organization, that's like a branch of Splinter. You learned all this stuff from the CIA, and you take what you learned from the CIA, MK all tricks, they teach them all of that. You got this high level clearance, you're able to research all this stuff. You go start you another organization. And like some people say, Jim Jones was like this. The guy, Jim Jones, that went out and killed all the people or whatever, took the people and sacrificed them or whatnot. They say that was a CIA operative, you know, some type of a plan or program, some type of CIA program. So you can go start your own, like a religion or anything like that, or go and get into a music industry, movie industry. They are all over the place. But the thing is, is that you now you've passed it on so now you've been affected you've took place in these rituals took part in these rituals these mind control rituals and you've slept with an incubus and now you're affected so then now you go recruit people and then you're passing this on this energy on the people and that's what's happening to where now primarily a lot of what's going on in society is imbalanced and we have a lot of dark energy that really dominates the world stage because these intelligence agents they're passing on a lot of this negative energy on to children and things like that and through sex slavery and they go and target people like you may be a good person and you may want to become a singer one day and they'll this intelligent agent will recruit and a lot of times these people don't even know they're intelligence agents a lot of them that's the deep thing most people that are in the CIA don't even know they're in it that's another level to it so you got to remember that it's only usually the handler there's the handler and then the one that's handled and a lot of people are just handled even when they think they're handlers you're not a handler really you're just being handled so they'll recruit someone a handler will which is someone that's conscious of the fact they're aging they know what they're doing and they'll go and recruit these women say for instance and they'll use and send these women at these different men to take energy from them 
and to pass on energy to them, negative energy to them. And then when you hear about people like Martin Luther King dying, some people say a strange woman walked up out, up out of his room. When the, like right before he died, or they would say it was a woman there on the balcony with him right before he was shot or something like that. Pimp C, my man Pimp C, they say it was a strange woman that left up out of his room right before he died. They say the great sister Whitney Houston. They say it was a strange man, or they even say who the guy was, walked up out of her hotel room and left her with something. So we really don't know exactly what happened, but at the end of the day, what I'm pointing out here is, is that in society, they'll send these people at you, these incubus and succubus, they target people that are like kings and queens, and that a person that may have a lot of money or a lot of influence, and when they're ready to destroy you and they want to bring you down, they're going to use an incubus or a succubus. So this is why, you know, I promote, and what I do, even though I understand light working and dark working, and I can easily get into the dark worker side, but this is why I promote the light side of things and saying that I agree that if you're going to be initiated into the higher world aspect of world society, you're going to have to live abnormally and do things differently to the way most people would do them. But at the same time, it's imbalanced now because you have mostly people that are living on the dark side and a lot of dark workers and things like that. So this is why I promote for people that want to be light workers and want to make music and do the right thing and change the music industry for the better, you should be celibate until you meet your twin flame or soulmate. This is why I promote the old fashioned way of you shouldn't be messing around with people that you don't know strange men and strange women. You shouldn't be doing that. You know, you should wait till you meet your twin flame and your soulmate because of the fact that this strange, you don't know what this strange woman or strange man is. They could be an incubus. They could be a part of some CIA mind control program. And it doesn't matter. You might say, well, I know this person. And they seem like a good person and things like that. But they're, they have spells playing on them. And a lot of times they're so deeply caught up into the spell that they don't even realize that they're, they're so, they're so big liars. That they don't even realize that they're lying to you. There's some, some people lie so much that they believe their own lies. So they, you might say, well, this person told me that, you know, they've never been molested and abused and they were a good person. So I'm going to have a slip them. You should wait and put them through various tests before you open yourself up to anybody. Because this occult stuff is real. And if you decide you want to get into this and become a light worker, you have to know that you're going to be targeted. They're going to try to take you down because they don't want this world is based on darkness. They say this, this world is ruled by the prince of darkness and they don't want the light to be exposed these these people that are in power and it doesn't matter their color it doesn't matter their race they're demons a lot of them, the, these people that run the world and what's going on is that when christ said he was supposed to come back people think i don't believe in jesus and i don't believe in christ in return i believe in it i did a video talking about more fire when i talked about jesus and i'm going to go more in depth but when christ comes back he's the rightful heir he's the inheritor he comes back as a light worker He's the rightful heir. He's an inheritor. He takes back the world from the illegitimate. This is similar to the sovereign and the corporation. See, right now, the corporation runs the world. The corporation, you have the corporate United States of America that runs things versus the Americans. And what's happened is that Christ represents the Americans. So if you want to be a truther and you want to be one that's transparent, you have to go and put yourself up under a series of rituals and light. You have to deny mixing up your energy with someone that you know is not right because they're going to send agents at you on every single different level. This is what the movie, I got to do a video on V for Vendetta because the movie V, he represented truth coming back. Remember, he had a vendetta. He did a lot of things. This is why I say you got to be a light worker and a dark worker because he did a lot of things that may have seemed dark. People were killed and things like that for him to take back what was his. So to be a part of, I guess you could say, the second coming, or this Jesus that's going to come back, you still have to fight these incubuses, these succubuses, these negative energy beings, and these demons that are in all these different organizations. You're going to have to resist all that. This is why it's called the resistance movement. Because you have to be one that resists evil and tyranny and things of that nature. So, and understanding and working with your sexual energy is important. And, and abstaining from your sexual energy is important because now I want to talk about Maryland again. I'm going to go back to Maryland. Remember I told you Maryland was a product of an incubus 
and a sucker or a succubus, one of his parents, I'm not sure which one, was it either an incubus or a succubus. Remember, the succubus is the female demon and the incubus is the male demon that they rule through sex. See, it's the greatest spell. The master teacher taught me, one of the master teachers taught me, shout out to Malachi York, that there's three spells. The spell of sex, the spell of money, and the spell of religion. And if you could master those three things, then you could become a light worker. You have to master those things, though. It doesn't mean you won't have sex. It doesn't mean you won't use money. It doesn't mean you won't deal in religion. It just means that you are a master of these things because you don't let these things put you up under a spell. You overstand. So you use these things as your program versus being programmed by them. So Marilyn the Magician is very important because Marilyn the Magician was a product of that. But what happened is that the Catholics, they know about this. Those people that get into the exorcism, they know that incubus and succubus is real. There's some women, they're sexual fucking freaks. And they can't go without sex. They're fiends. And sex is like a drug for them. And men too. they like, I can't do it. I just can't. I got to have something. It's like food to them though. And they can't control their self. And Marilyn the Magician, he was a product of this. But what he learned about was his kundalini energy because he learned how to do an exorcism. Where he excommunicated his relationship with this incubus that was attached to him. Because he was a cambion, actually. And a cambion is when you half demon and half angel. That's right, half demon and half angel. You may think, well, what, why would you want to be just be all angel? See, Christ, when he comes back, he's not going to be all angel. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. He's not going to be all angel. He's going to be half demon and half angel because, and, he, and I know the religious people ain't going to get this. But people that are into the Gnostic faith will totally understand. He has to be half demon, half angel, because if he's all light, he would allow himself to be a sacrifice again. And that's what he was last time. He came back as the angel the first time in the Bible. You read about Christ and all the good stuff that he did. He allowed himself to die for evil. And he basically didn't. He was not successful at defeating the prince of evil. So this does not make him his job complete. This is why they always talk about him having to come back. He will reincarnate back because he has karma to deal with. But this time, he's going to be half angel, half demon. And this is why Marilyn Magician represents the second coming of the Christ. You can read a lot about him. Marilyn the Magician actually goes into understanding Thoth, actually in Tahuti. Some people call him. And Thoth, he represents the second coming of the Messiah and the way he's fashioned. When you read about him, you're reading about the way that the Christ will be because he's a discriminator. He deals with the scales of Libra. Thoth is ruled by Libra, the constellation of Libra. And Libra deals with the balance, which means that he's half, he has just enough demonic energy in him, it's just enough Christ energy in him to defeat all evil. He's a left hand path worker and a right hand path worker. He doesn't decide, he doesn't side. He walks his own road. He's a trendsetter. He creates his own path. He doesn't walk in the footsteps of another very important and what happened was that Marilyn getting back to him he had to learn how to take that energy that was living in him as a cambion that that incubus energy that was living in him because he could easily chose to live on the lower part of himself and he had to override that and convert that energy through learning about his Merkaba learning about his Kundalini learning about his third eye he was able to take that energy and as an alchemist this is why he's a magician and transform that energy use it to work all kind of spells and to create all kind of entities and send all kind of entities out before him to destroy and slay his enemies this this is what a real magician a real truth or a real warrior is about so you have he had to take partake in an exorcism to cast out that negative energy so you may be an incubus this is for people that are out there you may be a succubus this is not to knock you but you have rituals to partake in to get that out of you because you can be a good agent or a bad agent and you have to break free from your handler. And a lot of times your handler is the one that's having sex with you. This is how they, they have to have something over you. Your handler is somebody that has certain control over you. Sometimes they can use money too. Or they can use religion to be a handler. So they understand this stuff in the CIA. And this is how they gain control. And you have agents in that. They learn this doctrine. They go and take over governments. Knock people, big ass kings out. They'll send their prostitutes at you. All of that. How do you think they got control over the Saudis? I think they got control over all of these different Gaddafi and all of them. They use their prostitutes, their whores, and these their agents that are programmed 
and they program it in a way to they use the occult man that's what i'm trying to get you guys to see they don't this is not no agent where they pick up the phone and tell them to do something they do it because if that's the case people have good hearts and naturally and they will break free from that they will go, i don't want to do this i don't want to hurt this person this is a person that's up under mind control when they go do their dirt like when they go do their killing when they go whack somebody they don't even know it's them something takes over their body it comes into them and possesses them they're, they're under possession this is why the Catholics talk about being possessed and you have to be exercised and this is what they put this stuff in you so they can take over and rule governments and rule kingdoms this is why you got to be playing chess out here if you really want to be involved in this type of stuff because it's serious I go through this shit every day they send incubuses and succubuses they, they'll send an incubus at a man to try to get you to partake in homosexual acts I'm not with that you know some people are I'm not with that they send incubuses and succubuses at me every single day but I still stay fast. They, they come through, you know, they try to conquer me and take over my equipment. And this is a competition. It's a sport. And I realize that the more I get deeper into this, I realize it's just a game. But I'm a really great player. Really great player. So I'm not going to let them overcome me because I know that there's a group of people, young people that's looking at me and looking at me as an example. And I have to stand the test of time to show them that there is a way you can't resist this thing you could be successful there's very few of us out there very few of us Melchizedek and info warriors even and people that's resisting this movement of dark energy but we're out here your incubuses they could be extraterrestrials this goes on a deep level they're good extraterrestrials and bad extraterrestrials so when you talk about reptilian shapeshifters that come and mess with you through the sexual act this is really truly deeper than that. This is an incubus. You saw them as a reptilian during sex and they look like a monster because they were that's that's what's in that person, that host that they're living in or that person that you were screwing, that you just opened yourself up to not even knowing who they were. They were living in them. So you gotta watch, beloved. It goes for the men and the women. Especially you men. Because they're really more succubuses than there are incubuses. That's right, they're more succubuses. There are incubuses, males that do this stuff too, but there are more women. Women are cold at it because most men are weak to their sexual energy. So you have to learn how to master your sexual energy and work with your kundalini and express it and use it to work and create a life for you and activate your merkaba to get out of this, brothers. Because really it's the men on the planet of being ignorant and unconscious is the reason why the prince of darkness is still ruling. We talk about the feminine principle and the feminine energy coming in, but truly... If men were to truly wake up to who they were and begin to be sexual masters and master their sexual energy, you could defeat this thing. See, they need women because the men are natural warriors. So this is why it seems like a lot more men need knowledge and education in order for the feminine principle to come in because women already know the truth. And they're going to get in line as soon as the men wake up. Because as a male, you have the magic wand. You are supposed to be with the magic wand. You're supposed to, they use the wand to control the demon. So you have the penis or the phallus, which is a magic wand. You use that to control the woman. You're the controller. So as a male, you have to overcome your sexual energy. You cannot let women control you, even if it's your mother. Because a lot of men, they, they mothers control them. And use them to do rituals and stuff like that. Tell you what woman to get with. You have to be a man and be in control of your life. Without You have to be constructive in control. I'm not telling you to buck your mother and don't listen to her and all that type of stuff. I'm saying you have to know as a man because there's a lot of single mothers that try to raise men. And you can't do it. Because a woman doesn't know what it is to be a man. You want to have control. When you learn how not to spill your semen and you have sex with a woman. Let me tell you something. You have sex with a woman you learn how to not to spill your semen. You stay in control. I have many. I've had sex with succubuses. But I stayed in control. Because I learned how not to spill my semen. I learned how to, you know, stay in control of that situation because I've learned how not to let about my energy to, to dissipate. And it happens through the sexual act. That's how they take the energy from you. So I came back with very little residue from this these particular entities that I messed with. But now I'm, I'm trying to be so supreme, man, that I'm not even trying to even go there. Period. With the whole sexual act. I'm not even trying to have sex with anybody right now at this point until I meet my twin flame because I realized that once you meet your twin flame, there's another connection you guys can build up and then and, and create a shared Merkaba. And this is why they don't want, they don't want Ron Post to find his real twin, twin flame because you can create a shared Merkaba and you could do a lot of amazing things together to change this world for good and to bring light to this planet. So I hope that really helped people to understand Incubus and Succubus. There was someone that actually wanted me to do this video. Shout out to you. 
and you help me with a lot of knowledge too and even put together this video and I hope you learn something um, I hope you're ready to, to stand up and resist these evil powers that run this world and never ever have any fear so until we meet again peace